No, 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 Lifesaver water pools. I'm Winter, and this is the Corrupt Kingdoms. Have you ever seen an inventory in better shape than this? Ooh, that's amazing. I have done a bunch of farming for both the cobblestone, as I say, as I point at the tree, <laughs> wood. Uh, what did I do? Oh ho! Hello! <laughs> All these guys went visited me earlier and they got stuck in a portal. Poor pigmen. What have I done? I got iron! I got back to the area right in front of us, uh, right this way from that intersection. Got a bunch of iron. I have three or four stacks, I believe, of iron, which is cool. I brought with me an extra set of iron armor, all enchanted with a level one, the extra enchanting table, some resources in case I need to redo some things. This bucket here is because I would like... I remember the good old days when I would use a lava bucket to deal with every single issue I would ever come across, so I guess I can do that again. Is this a lava source block? It is. I'll take that. I can have this on my toolbar in the meantime, the water bucket there doesn't do any anything good to me in the nether. So it's time to head towards the pillars of the stone. I think I read this the first time as the pillars of stone. <laughs> Oops. Uh, there's a way we can go back up, no worries. What do we see here? It's Kinda dark, it just doesn't go down. Instead it goes this way. Ooh, that's that's going to take a while to get down here. Uh I also need to make myself a path. Light is not really necessary. Let's see. Keeps going. Keeps going. Ooh. Uh okay, how do I get down there? Does it keep going that way? It does not. No, it does not. I guess I can dig down. Where are pigmen? Oh yeah, my inventory is full. Because it's ready to set up a base at the next place. I did not make a chest. I, nor a crafting table. I didn't make a furnace, but I'll have to make another crafting table. Uh, let's just remember that our way back up is up. Oh, I can't place a torch. Is up here. Wonderful. Uh, eh. The way back up will be a tiny bit harder, but uh, it works. Figuring out here. Do we see traps? This is kind of really silent. Uh, that's really silent. Traps? No traps? Oh, oh, I thought my own torch was ablaze. Well, good job, paranoia. You got me there. Where do I go? To keep green here? Uh, what am I doing? I think I got turned around. That is, that's the way I came from. I came from up there. So I come down here. This was all do done by exploding TNT, I can tell. <laughs> or not. What am I doing? <laughs> where, do I, where do I go? We, I don't hear a nether portal anywhere. I might be a tiny bit confused. Does that go anywhere? Doesn't seem like there's anything up there. I don't think so. No, there's nothing up there. Um... Uh, I came from up there. That's 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 where I came from. Not in this way. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> that doesn't lead anywhere. Uh Ooh, why do? <laughs> I'll waste most of my time just trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go. I was so ready to set up the most amazing base ever. 
And I don't even know where I'm going to build it. Where did I come from? I came from that way. Maybe... Ah, uh, maybe I found it. Uh. Okay, this goes somewhere. What? Why did that all not go lead anywhere? <laughs> I was supposed to come from here and go here. Why was there... Why was there a hole? Oh crap, this place is huge! Oh, maybe it's a maze. Like, right now I can't go that way or that way. Maybe it's a maze and actually there are ways that don't lead anywhere. That is actually kind of cool. I have no idea where I'm going right now. <laughs> Wait, I think I just went in circles. Could it be? No, this is, this is a dead end. Oh, I'm in a maze! That is amazing! I feel like everybody's done this fun at least once when they get, get stuck in a maze of some kind. Just some time ago, I, I learned the difference between the words maze and labyrinth. That is cool. <laughs> I get impressed by the smallest things, mostly because... Uh, Anybody who speaks two languages would is might know what kind of feeling I'm talking about. But it's really awesome how different languages just do things really differently. Uh, in Italian, we do not have uh, a word for maze. We have a word for labyrinth. Uh, and so anything, yeah, I can go left or right here. Am I mean, leaving uh, track things to keep track of where I'm coming from? Because if I don't, I'm going to get lost. Uh, uh, so far, it was a very simple maze, because I would only get a choice between going left and right every time. There's a way down here. And a way up here. Which way do I go first? Not that way! <laughs> there is a portal here. Uh, which may not lead anywhere. Would be very short to me if I already found the exit, so there's nothing here. Please don't be a trap that leads me somewhere full of lava that I can't get out from, because if it is, I'm going to rage so badly for losing all of this. <laughs> Please don't be that mean. Actually, I'm, I am going to check out the other way of doing it. <laughs> I'm a coward. Ah, I wish I could pick up all those blocks. Three blocks. Cobblestone, after all, is kind of precious. I had to farm it at my generator. Yeah, once I run out of fire and cobblestone is my next uh, option, so... Uh, for tools at least. It's a shame you can't make armor out of cobblestone. Then again... <laughs> uh, it's a weird thing to suggest. And yet, why not? Because Minecraft does not have to make sense. This is a dead end. Have I explored every other way? I don't remember. I think I did. I think I did. But well, it was simple. <laughs> if the portal that we just passed is indeed the exit, then that was simple. And I was too worried about everything. Please don't be a trap. 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 Is there anything behind you that I should be aware of? No, there isn't. Are you a trap? Be a trap. Be nice. Ah. Uh, I'm kind of glad that... Ah! <laughs> okay, this is not a trap, or at least not anything I wouldn't be able to get out from, except that this is giving me a little... Ooh. Well, there is light up there, so there could be something. Yes, this wasn't really a trap, or maybe it was. But it was a lame one. <laughs> I have dealt... With so many trapped portals in UHC, that that is also a lie because I would go very early to the Nether in UHC still. Just out of safety, let's put an extra block here because why not? I am silly, I could easily just sprint out of this place. Did I just scare a spider? I did not. Uh, I guess the only place I have to go now is upward. I could pillar up. 
but I also need a way down, uh, so I will not build her up and instead I'll I'll slowly dig a staircase up, so I I think I will speed this up or skip it completely and I'll see you once I have reached the top. Ta-da! Well, they are pillars of stone. <laughs> it's nighttime, which is convenient because I can't place down... You did not see me, you're not a 1.6 zombie. Uh, I can place down my things immediately. In fact, the first thing I will do is sleep right here. That should... There we go, my... Uh, spawn point is set back here, and of course, the moment I finished building the staircase, I realized that uh, there was no need for the staircase, because I could have pillared up, uh, and right after pillaring up, I could have just dropped the water bucket down, so the, the staircase wasn't even necessary, but at least I got a bunch of free sandstone, which honestly, I needed, and actually, uh... I will need to make an infinite water source here. I left a couple of things downstairs in a chest because I wanted to collect, as I was going to say, I wanted to collect the sandstone on my way up because I'd prefer to use sandstone as a building block instead of cobblestone. Not because it's better, because it's not, but because cobblestone, I want to keep it if possible. I only have this amount of cobblestone and if I can keep it for emergency tools and furnaces later, or as a building block in case of uh, guests, then I will be happier. So look at all this stuff, but what I need right now is... Uh, I wanted to pick up this chest, but I can't if the inventory is full. Do I do now? <laughs> ah, I need one second to organize everything. I swear I'm hearing a skeleton. What? This way? the left oh oh look at that I found a shortcut <laughs> interesting I told let me place this block here this area was not encased in uh, oh this area was not encased in bedrock that is interesting in case I happen to fall from up there I guess I can go back here, I don't know. I don't know if this will be of any use, but uh, yeah, the place is right there. I am here, and I think I am ready to face the next area. I slept in here, everything's fine. Get a bunch of blocks that I can use. And I remember that I, I, remember that I forgot to say something kind of important, uh, which is that I put 30 levels on this, and I got everything but infinity which is awful because these are literally all the errors in my possession i have nothing else uh actually an easier way to avoid the issues from that direction is probably this uh, skeletons can probably still shoot at me from there but still now i'm slightly safer on this bridge which is full of holes that's annoying but yeah we have pillars made of stone but they're not pillars of stone they're pillars of this stone and that is different. I don't know if I need to patch all these holes, but I'm definitely happy that I got all that sandstone from there, because if all these bridges are this broken, I'm going to run out of sandstone real soon. But we are approaching. I don't know what I just thought I heard, but we are approaching the first uh, uh, tower thingy. Is there anything there? I see glowstone. Ooh, red block. Oh, 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 we have a bunch of uh, blaze spawners, in fact, and I'm activating them. Not from here. Not from here. Not from here. But maybe I am, I am activating the one I cannot see. And there is a hole right in front of that, which sucks. Plus, blazes tend to be able to spawn at very high light, le uh, light levels. Which, again, sucks, because I can't just run in there and light up everything, but this is still what I'm going to do. Because that's the best strategy at my disposal. Let's just try not to fall in that hole. 
Holy cow, they spawn fast, of course, because there's a bajillion of them! Oh, never again, never again! So close to falling! <laughs> so close! I don't even need to set me. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> Somebody downstairs moved a chair and it sounded like a ghast. <laughs> <laughs> so, four spawners, but I placed a bunch of torches, so they should be easier to deal with right now. It's kind of a shame to use a fire bow on a... on blazes. So, I brought with me also my previous power 2. I did. I think it's better if I use this, because one is power 2, one is power 3. Might as well use the power 2, although I guess the power 3 would save up on errors. But still... This is kind of far away. Oh, this thing. Ah, I had not forgotten to fix that bug. I swear, but just as I started recording, the game crashed, which was horrible. <laughs> and yeah. Okay, you. I am activating the spawners from where I am. I kind of would want to kill this place without doing that because I did still spawn. Just uh, rarer, but still. There's still one that I can't reach. Yee, but it can reach me. Let's start. Oh, they're going to... Wait, you're not where you look. Uh... Did I just see a creeper with the, on the, with the corner of my eye? I came back away, right? I did not leave holes. I did not. But it's getting nighttime, and this is the part where I realized that this bridge is not really safe. Uh, we do not see the sky from here. So, playing at nighttime or daytime does not make a difference. One is not safer than the other. But it does give me a bit more perspective. I did not realize I had broken that uh, spawner. Why are you up there? Yeah. But we have dealt with half of the bla spawners, which is good. And uh, I am terrified of falling off this bridge. It would be horrible. I could save myself with this, and it wouldn't be too difficult to retrieve my items, especially now that I know a shortcut. But still, at least there is no lava whatsoever down there, and no, there's nothing on that pillar. Uh, they are, the blizzards are kind of going to the left, where that other bridge is. Oh! Oh! Okay, there's two blazes there, I see. Am I activating new spawners? Doesn't look like I am. Okay. This is great. No more blazes. Oops. I should not destroy torches. Well, too late. They're still... Oh! The... Oh! I see. Ah. Crap. <laughs> okay, so I said earlier that there were four blade spawners. I would like to take that back and correct myself. Ooh, wow, what a shot. Hmm. Wow, with all those blades, only two blaze rods. Is it worth it to place torches up there and take them out, or should I just block this? Well, they're spawning things outside, so I should destroy the spawners, but I'm not sure how. Ah. Uh, ow. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure to approach that. From the outside would probably be suicide. Uh, I think I have no choice but to pull her up. How did you hit me? It looked like it was flying past me. Ooh, look at all the levels I already have, and look at that creeper who can't wait to hurt me. Hmm. Need to recover my health a tiny bit. That looks great! With all the lights, I don't know if they're torches or glowstone, I can't tell. Probably glowstone just placed on the floor like this, but that looks really cool! So... Also, if there is light, it means that it's probably much safer than all the other pillars. Oh! I think I see something there. It looks like the way to the next intersection! Well, that was easy! <laughs> Great! My render distance is not too... It's not big enough to show me what's over there. But I think it's just the wall. What can I do with you guys? Besides very stupid things. I do have a water bucket. Oh. Oh. Oh, I can't reach that trap. Oh, can I? No, I cannot. If then I... Well, 
<laughs> I broke one. <laughs> it actually went better than expected. These double spawners took a while to... My bed is not safe. This is the part where I realized that my bed is not safe. Much better. Well, not uh, it's not uh, like sandstone is really blaze proof, but it's going to work. I'm really worried about the number of errors on my disposal, especially if all the towers are going to be full of blaze spawners. Well, that's going to be awful. Uh, maybe I should put my water bucket to better use, and I really wish I could know where the place was. Am I activating spawners from down here? I am. Where is... Oh, you're here. Nope. Oh, yes. <laughs> and you. Let's try this again, except I'm going to bump my head here. Oh, well, that didn't last too long. Wait, no, no. Why are you down here? <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, what? <laughs> that place is smart. Did you see where it was hidden? Uh, I'm gonna see you in a moment or not. Where are you? Smart blaze. Blazes shouldn't be smart. Okay, this is good. Or not. Gotcha. And to make my life simpler. Ah, okay, this should really help. Oh, one blaze down there. Let's take care of these spawners. Whoa! No, 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 I really need to put my bucket somewhere where I am faster at uh, grabbing it with a... Let's see... Maybe it's easier if I put it here. That's not what I'm used to having my water bucket, but then again, I don't need a shovel. Let's see... In case of emergency, move this finger up here. Move it here. Move it here. Maybe it's faster if I put it here, because I can... Hot bar science. Might as well make this daytime so it's easier to see. I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier. But we're making progress. Let's see. There is a bunch of blazes, but I only need one spawner. Oh, that blaze, I think it spawned on its own. And those skeletons. Well, that skeleton <laughs> uh, is in an inconvenient, inconvenient place, but it shouldn't be able to see me. Don't move. Don't move! Perfect. One more time. Oh, you. I almost printed out that hole, but I was smart and avoided it. Oh, you're still alive. Aha, that could have been bad. But it was not. We're done, I just need to take out a spawner and then this tower is going to be completely safe. Hopefully. I'm also going to take back the torches. I have tons, ton, tons of coal, but uh, I still prefer to not have torches where I don't need them to be. That glowstone might have helped a tiny bit. Oh, maybe if I had done this, it could have helped the situation down here. That doesn't seem to... would have taken too long. I don't know, policy torches was faster. So, where do we go from here? We only have one way to go. So I guess that's the way we will go. Boop. Let's see, what's our tolerance? I have a good bridge over here. Especially now the blazes will not spawn up here. Oh, there's a lower floor. Let me check that out. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Let's watch that happen. Ooh. It's gonna take a moment, but it's going to be great. And that should prevent all of the spawners from doing anything. So that is cool. Is there a way out? Yeah, probably the lava is going to also pour out of this tower. <laughs> so yeah, we have uh, only one bridge already built for us. Or we could bridge over there. I already see spawners, I believe, although I can't tell what kind. There's spawners over there too. And a chest over there! That is interesting and that is the light I saw before, definitely. 
If we go downstairs, we can go on that old, old other bridge. I don't know if approaching towers... I think approaching towers from the top of them is easier. Because taking care of spawners from below, it's not easy. Especially, blazes still fly, but creepers will just fall on your face. Uh, and that is not ideal. I am curious to see what that chest uh, holds in itself. In its own inside. We need to take a lava back. In this version, lava still does not really... Uh... Oh! Ooh, that is a creeper spawner. It couldn't have spawned anything up here. But yeah, definitely approaching towers from the top is way easier. So I don't know if I should go downstairs. I really don't know if I have an, any reason to do that. For now at least. I guess I can go on this bridge instead. And hopefully there's not going to be anything on top of the tower, though most likely there is. Also, if I fall here, I may be able to survive. Uh, I don't know if you know. <laughs> Fun fact, cats are more likely to survive a fall from the 6th floor than they are uh, of surviving a fall from the 1st floor. Simply because they get uh, actually more time to turn around. Uh, if they fall from a very short distance, they don't uh, get the time to turn around and land on their on their legs. Of course, there is a point uh, after which these are more blazes. Uh, there is a point after which uh, they just, uh, even if they land on their paws, they still hurt themselves because uh, they, they just uh, were falling too fast. Gravity is going to hurt them no matter how they land. But still, the point is that uh, a very, very, very short fall can actually hurt them way more than a longer one because they may not have the time to land properly. Why was I mentioning this? Well, if I were to fall here, there's a bridge directly below me and I was thinking that this probably my chances of surviving a fall on that bridge may be lower because if I do die of fall damage by touching that, uh, I, since it's that close to me, oh, oh. I may not have the time to take out my water bucket. <laughs> That's the analogy. <laughs> well, instead, if I were to fall all the way down there, I have all the time I need to scroll on my toolbar to the item I need. So, <laughs> hmm. On a related note, have you ever fallen from a very long distance in Minecraft, and not in real life? For <laughs> ah. That is a double chest. Have you ever fallen for a long distance and maybe in the nether, so in a in a lava pool, and you paused the game like this, <laughs> collected your thoughts, <laughs> and then unpaused and immediately placed the block below you before before dying, or placed the water if you could, or whatever? Because that is a really neat, neat, a very cheaty trick. But I admit that I am guilty of that in. Uh, a survival Minecraft, if I'm not recording, I'm really guilty of that, but I can't. No, I need this to be placed. Eh, I'm out of blocks. I guess that chest will have to wait. But yeah, while recording here, I don't think it's uh, right to do that. So I guess I'll take... Ooh, ooh, I uh, should have checked, but these are not uh, silverfish blocks, so that's uh, it's new, it's different. That is not true because the previous era did not have silverfish blocks either, but still. Uh, we are a bit... Uh, uh, we have already been recording this episode for a while, so I think I'll grab that chest and then call it a day. The chest. I'll give a name to the chest and call it a day. There we go. Right here is enough. Why was I looking for my water bucket if it was right here? I do not know. But we Oh, this may not actually... I may get stuck. Okay, I cannot breathe. <laughs> Let's just open this. Okay. Uh, let me read that once I'm out of this uh, trap that I built myself. Here's the water. Let's not fall. So shift. Boop. Perfect, perfect. Out of range of the blazes. In the safety of the tower. Inventory. 
Sharpness 5, Looting 3, Silk Touch 3, Fortune... Silk Touch 3? <laughs> Fortune 5, Efficiency... Efficiency 10, and Flame 1. Um, I'm not really sure at this point. The efficiency is completely worthless. The sharpness should work. I don't know about looting. Silk Touch probably does not work either because silk touch depends on the tool you're using so you can't use a silk touch shovel on the on the stone what else do we have if she is useless fortune for the same reason is completely worthless flame is worthless but uh, fire aspect would work uh, i think i'm not entirely sure but uh, flame definitely does not work so a sharpness 5 tool does deal a tiny bit of extra damage but i don't Think I could experiment, but I don't think it's going to deal more damage in an iron sword with sharpness one. I guess this makes for a good ender pearl, though. Oh, I left my other ender pearl at the base. That's something I should have brought with me, cause an ender pearl here could be useful. Still, oh well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourself, and I will see you in next episode of the Corrupt Kingdoms.